Hello everybody, this is Hope again with Battery Watering Technologies. I want to welcome all of my new viewers, everybody else, thanks for coming back. Today we're showing you how to install a basic kit on an industrial battery. A basic kit does not have any tubing pre-strung. The basic kit is typically stocked at distribution centers when you might not know the battery layout, but you want to keep parts in stock so you can take care of a quick installation. This is an 18 cell battery, so you would take an 18 cell basic kit from stock. Having a rolling cart or something to put all your parts on would be helpful so the parts don't get lost while you're doing the installation. If you're an experienced technician, you may want to attempt this installation without the exact drawing. But if you feel more comfortable using a drawing, they can be found on our website, batterywatering.com. Standard basic kit drawing layouts also come with each kit. Think of a battery as having two halves. For instance, if you're installing a basic kit on an 18 cell battery, you'll generally want nine cells on one side of the T-piece and nine cells on the other side. Always wear personal protective equipment as required by your employer anytime you're working with batteries to protect yourself from battery acid. Also, you will need something to cut the tubing. Be sure that the tubing cutter you select is insulated, just like this one. There should be no metal objects around the battery. Next, wipe down the top of the battery using a soft towel to remove any dirt and residue. Make sure that the electrolyte levels are above the plates. If the levels are below the plates, manually add just enough water to cover the plates in each cell. One thing I would like to mention, if your battery requires an adapter for a 35 millimeter opening, insert the adapter into the vent well before installing the valve. Using the drawing for this particular battery layout, determine how the tubing will need to be routed. Insert the valves into the vent wells with the barbs lined up in the direction the tubing will be routed. The clear tubing is easier to install if you dip the end in hot water for a few seconds. Attach the tubing to the first valve, push it on securely. Measure the distance to the center of the next valve. Cut the tubing squarely and evenly. Again, if needed, use hot water to make it easier to install. When making the turns at the end of the battery, you will want to leave a loop to allow the water to flow freely. Be sure to route the tubing underneath the cables whenever possible. They should never be pinched. Once all the valves are connected, install the filling tube. The filling tube should generally be placed in the center of the battery. Use the drawing to determine exactly where it should be placed. Finally, add the end caps to any open ends to cap off the water flow. On this 18 cell battery, I need to cap off two ends. Once everything is attached, firmly press on the valves into the vent wells. It's always good practice to tie down heavy gauge battery cables, but do not tie them down to the watering system as the tie downs may restrict water flow. The system is now fully installed, but one important note, you have to wait until the battery has completed its next full charge cycle before watering. Always water the battery after charging. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.